Hello, in this Dart programming tutorial, I am going to show you variables. So a variable is essentially a area in memory that has been sort of reserved so you can store some data. And you can have multiple variables, it allows you to store value and it's a named area in memory and the variable name allows you to easily refer to that area in memory. So to create a variable, you just put the keyword var and then you put your variable name. So if I say epic name, and I could put a semicolon and leave it like that. It's giving me a little warning saying the value of local variable epic name is in use. It's not an error. It will still run. It's just saying we haven't used it yet. And we could assign it afterwards. So we could say equals, and uh, let's say if we say it equals hello world. If we run this, what do you think we'll get? We're getting nothing and it's because even though we've assigned it we're not doing anything with it we can print it out so if we do print we can pass in the variable epic name click run we get hello world another way that you can actually declare the variable is simply like so you could do var epic name equals so you're declaring it and you are initializing it. So this is essentially declaring it. This is the first point in your application, in your function, that you're creating this variable using the keyword var. And this is initializing. So this is the first time you're setting a value. And we can declare and initialize it all on one line. This will produce the exact same result. What do you think would happen if I do epic name equals a nice assign it to the value Batman? What do you think would be printed out? Batman. Because before this print line is actually triggered, the epic name variable is overwritten. What happens if I try to assign a, like a number like 89? We get an error. So it basically says value of type int can't be assigned to variable variable of type string. So we specify the keyword var. When you first assign a value, in this case it is the string hello world, Dart finds, figures out what sort of data type you have actually assigned and makes that variable that type of data. So if I were to, instead of doing you know var, if I was to say, String. So I'm explicitly stating that it is a string. We are still getting the error, but we aren't using the keyword var. The good thing about using the proper data type is that when you're looking at it, you know exactly what data type it is. Because you might have the actual value retrieved from another location, like another function or a database. So it might not be immediately obvious the data type of that value. But if you know it's going to be a string or an integer, then you would use the specific data type and int for integer. For example, this will give an error because this is no longer an integer. And if I put sign 90, for example, everything runs fine. Print out 89 because that's where that word is signed. If you do not know the data type, you use the keyword var. So that's just something to bear in mind. It's pretty simple. Variables are one of the core fundamentals of all programming in pretty much any programming language. We'll be using variables a lot. We'll be going much deeper into them. We'll be combining them with operators, loops, conditional statements, functions, classes, all of that good stuff. But if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.